Okay, uh, welcome to our tutorial. So today I'm going to teach you how to create a database using MySQL administrator. Okay, to start with, just open the MySQL administrator on your desktop. Then it requires you a password and username. So our default password is root. So during the configuration of your MySQL, you can change the password and your username. So for developmental purposes, so we will use root and username as a username and password. Okay. So just click OK. So this is now your MySQL administrator environment. So here you can uh, back up your database and also you can also restore so to start making with database so let's open the mysql query browser so in this section so we can add a database just right click then just create new schema then here you can specify the file name of your database for example, we will create a database for list of employees. So, should we say I will call this database employee DB? Okay, okay. So, in your schema list, so the new created database shows here. Then, our database we will create a table for our database so let's add a table by right click then new table especially say let's name our table as employee tbl so it's good to rename our database or table with a description tbl so to know that this type of table is for employee then let's add some fields or attributes to our employee table so just click the column here then first we will make a id as our uh, primary key so primary key means uh, this this kind of attributes so we have to make sure that this is a unique so no other id number uh, that double the condition double then let's put an attribute for last name and data type var, var char if name for family name and address okay. then uh, let's add some contacts then in our primary key so let's add a null value and it's a error then apply execute then we have now our database called employee okay so uh, we will less down the record of our employee so the, the skill statement for browsing the record of our table is select select then select the, the general format is select then field name name field names then with uh, from then your table name so that's the general format for browsing the table okay so let's use this select statement so we instead of 
selecting only the last name if name and address contacts so let's use the asterisk symbol this symbol means we will list all all fields from table name so our table name that we are going to list the record is the table employee so you have to check for the correct spelling then execute so no database selected so there's an error so let's include the database by typing the name of our database which is employee that uh, employee db so employee that so just add a dot so it means this is the database and this is the table name so we will specify the database and the table that we are going to browse execute no table employee does not exist so meaning we will check the spelling employee employee db ah okay the database employee db execute again so zero rows fetch so meaning uh, our table there is no t record in our table so let's add a let's add a record to our table by using the insert into command so the format for insert into is insert into then the table your table name then the list of fields or attributes that you're going to, to insert the data then followed by values then the value that you're going to insert insert to those fields okay so let's apply this one so we will add a record to our table employee so let us use this statement okay insert into table name so our table name is employee tbl employee tbl employee then followed by open and close parentheses then uh, we will write the attributes of our table that we are going to insert those those values so the first attribute is the l name so make sure you write the correct spelling then the f name then the other one is address and the other one is contacts so no problem if not all the fields that you want to insert some data will be uh, write it here it depends on you okay, usually say let's add our name if name and address then followed by the values okay then the values you have to write the values that you are going to to insert from these fields for example in our ill name fields so I will for example I will insert uh, Julata and for my if name field I will insert J so I'll put a single quote because this is a string and you should order the values that you are going to insert in your attributes for example ill name Julata for ill name if name J for if name and address say Digos and another contact sample zero nine and then hit execute so new database selected so we forgot the, the database let's add the employee employee that uh, employee db then execute unknown column contacts okay let's check the contacts so the contacts here is the spelling is with S while here there's no S so let's add S insert okay then we will copy paste this one 
Then we will browse again. Select asterisk from what is the table name? PBL employee. Let's explore the database employee DB. Cute. So so we have one record or one row pitch. So we successfully insert data from our table. Okay. So let's say let's add again. So just use the same command insert into. Then let's change the value. So Paul Bardan. Then name is James. Ada. Then number. It's cute. So one row each. Then we will try to browse it again. Select. Uh, by this time, I want to list only the names, names and contacts. So I just specify the fields. L name, L name, if name, L name. If name and contacts. contacts then the table name from um, database employee db dot dbl employee secure okay unknown l name secure okay so, our record shows only the last name and the first name and the contacts. So, that is how, how to insert data in our database. Okay, uh, our next tutorial, I'll show you how to update record in our database.